Hello everyone. As a lot of you know, I have done a lot of flying in the past, especially as I lived in the East and was often um, doing long plane journeys. So I was thinking about that the other day and how we can be sitting in the plane on the ground and all we see around us are the buildings around us, the inside of the plane. But as soon as that plane takes off, our perspective changes and um, when we're really high in the air and there's no cloud in the sky um, suddenly we see below us um, patchwork fields, the buildings look really tiny um, and it really is an incredible difference but it's the same plane, we're in the same plane, it's just that suddenly we're seeing a different view out the window. I was thinking about the fact that in life, God wants us to have um, his perspective on life and that actually um, sometimes we can be so close to our problems and we can um, just not really be able to see that his perspective is a much bigger perspective and a, a wiser perspective on what's going on. And it helps us to be able to have his perspective. In Isaiah 40 verse 31, it says that we are to soar on wings like eagles. Why does it compare us to that? That's um, quite an amazing thing, really. Well, I think it's because our faith and belief in Jesus is a bit like us having the wings of the eagle, but the Holy Spirit is the wind under our wings. And as we um, grow in closeness to Jesus, then actually what happens is we soar up. And as we soar up, our perspective changes and becomes more like God's perspective on things. And that comes because of our intimacy with him and the relationship of the Holy Spirit in us and how that takes us to greater heights. So my hope for us this week is that really we have a fresh vision as we grow in our relationship with Jesus to be able to see things from his perspective as his Holy Spirit takes us to those greater heights and that we're able to rejoice and see things from his point of view, not getting too caught up in the troubles and the sufferings around us. Because in Romans 8 verse 18, it says, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. The Lord is good 